Hey everyone, this is Mastermind278 here with the LG Nexus 4. I'm going to show you guys on how to root, unlock, and install a custom recovery on the Nexus 4. To do this, you'll need the Nexus 4. Um, we'll also be using WUG Fresh's Nexus Root Toolkit, which can be found on his website, which I will link on the video. So here's his main site. And you can download the Nexus Root Toolkit right here. He has a whole bunch of mirrors for it to actually download from. I've already downloaded and installed the file, so we're almost ready to go. I'm also running Windows 8. So if you're running Windows 8, you have to disable driver uh, signature verification. So I'm going to quickly do that. So to do that, you have to go load up your charms on your side right there. So start C. Get your settings. Change PC settings. And we're going to go down to general. And we're going to do oops, advanced startup. Restart now. We're going to choose troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and click restart. while we wait. Alright, so now we have our option here. What we want to do is disable driver signature enforcement. And that's 7, so you press the F7 key. That's what I just did on my keyboard. And now we're restarting. Ready? Gonna load up desktop there. And now we can load up our Nexus 4 root toolkit. It's gonna ask you for administrative access. Say yes. And there we go. So before we actually get into this, uh, we have to actually let's go back to our phones here. And um, alrighty. So first thing you want to do is actually verify that you are on the latest build. So to do that, you go to go to go to your settings, and then scroll all the way down to About Phone, System Updates, and verify that you're on the latest. The latest one right now is 4.2.1, uh, which I have right there. Um, if this is the first time you're doing any of this, you're going to have to click build number here. And if you click it a few times, it will say that now you're a developer. I already did it a few times, so I don't need to do this anymore. So after that, you click your back, go to developer options, make sure you turn them on, and then put a check mark on USB debugging. It's going to ask you, do you want to allow? Click OK. At this point, we can actually plug in our phone to the computer. Apologize, I actually unchecked the USB debugging. Perfect. So now, uh, once we're on the computer here, we're going to want to make sure that the drivers are installed properly. You have to go to Device Manager on Windows 8. You can press the Start button in X, choose Device Manager. If you're on an older version of Windows, you have to go to uh, Computer, right-click Properties, and then Device Manager is right there. So as you can see, other devices, Nexus 4, the drivers did not install properly, so we're going to choose update driver software, browse my computer, 
since we already installed WUG Freshes, uh, we're just going to uh, navigate to the folder. So it should be under C, Program Files, WG Fresh, oops, uh, Drivers. And you're going to click OK there. And now we're going to click Next. And now you should get this pop up. And we're going to say install this driver anyway. And now we have Android ADB interface installed, which is exactly what we wanted. So now we can exit out of this. So the first thing you're probably going to want to do is back up your phone. The reason why we have to do this is uh, when we unlock the bootloader, it actually has to reformat the phone. So you will lose everything. So make sure you back up your SMSs on your phone. Um, or back up whatever you need from your phone. So I'm just going to click back up there. And I have a few options here. I can do uh, backup all apps, create an Android backup file. I'm just going to do system app and data. And I'm just going to do backup all apps and backup SMS. So it's actually installing SMS backup and restore. Oops, I had a message on my phone asking me uh, to verify the app uh, because we're side loading it. I apologize, I did not get, a sh did not get to show you guys that option. Uh, I apologize for that. So now it basically it's just backing up my text messages. Perfect. I also like to back up my APN. Again, I'm going to install it. Maybe it'll give me a message on the phone this time around. Nope, it only does it the first time. So I'm just going to put that on that folder. And we can create an Android backup file. And we're back. I apologize, my battery on my camera actually died. Uh, you also. You also just want to back up anything that you have that you want to back up because once we do our unlock, we're going to completely wipe everything. So that's why I'm doing all these backups. So anyways, I'm going to exit out of the backups. I'm done with backups. And at this point, I can actually click the unlock button right there. And you get a whole bunch of messages basically saying, guess what? We're going to completely wipe out your device. I'm okay with that. And it's going to reboot our device into bootloader mode. And we'll bring the camera back here. Oops. So now you get this message here. And, uh, these guys made everything really easy because as you can see you get a mess pop up on your computer here saying to go to yes and use the power button so get a bunch of warning messages here so you can use your volume buttons here to navigate which I did and use the power button to click yes and it said lock status unlocked so I have unlocked it Now, uh, what it's doing now is actually going into the built-in recovery and uh, pretty much wiping out your device. So let's see what in our computer here has a message too. And basically, we're just going to wait for the device to boot up, get back to USB debugging, and continue with the procedure. So we're going to click OK there once that's ready. So. 
Just let it finish booting up. And yes, that is the uh, plastic that came on the phone. I am waiting for my screen protector to come in. And this boot does take a little while because we did just pretty much format the system on the phone. And I'll just bring back the video once we get fully booted. And we're back here. So now we're going to enable USB debugging. So we're going to go to the settings. Oops. Settings. And we're going to have to go to about phone. And we're going to have to click our seven times on build number. And you are now a developer. Then you can go down to developer options. And put the check mark on USB debugging. Click OK. So now we can go back to our computer and we could click OK right there. Perfect. Next step is we want to root and install custom recovery. Custom recovery and root. And they will end up using Team Win Recovery Project, TWRP. I really like their recovery, I highly recommend it. So I'm just going to click OK right there. And what it's doing now is downloading the recovery. And we're going to use Super Sue. So it's also got to download that. The nice thing is it does hash check everything, make sure that everything is good. And now we get a lot of information here and basically we're gonna click OK. Since we have USB debugging and the phone's still connected it's going to push the files over to the SD card at the moment and then it's gonna reboot to the bootloader unlock it, uh, root it I, uh, for us to unlock and root. I apologize, we're already unlocked, just do the root. So the phone's already on fast boot. I'm just going to leave the camera here for a second here. And the phone was in the fast boot thing, and now it's loading up Team Win. And there's the, the custom recovery. So now to continue, you're going to have to click install. We're going to scroll down to the SD card here, and here it says ready to flash. So we're going to choose ready to flash, root files, and we're going to pretty much flash all three of these. So I'm going to click busy box, add more zip, super sue, add more zip, and um, perm recovery. Swipe to confirm, and it's successful. At this point, click Reboot System. Now on the computer, we're just going to click OK. And we're pretty much done with the computer there, so now we're just going to go to our phone. And it should theoretically boot up with root. So let's check this out. Super Sue. There you go. It loads up just fine. Settings. Um, we could test this out. Let's download uh, 
an app that requires uh, I gotta log into my Google but yes we're pretty much rooted and we have a custom recovery installed on the Nexus 4 and this was all thanks to the Nexus root toolkit which makes life really easy and hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Nexus 4 I should have a bunch of more videos coming up with the Nexus 4 including a review for when my screen protectors come in enjoy your phone have a great day